So before I left for work, uh, I was outside with Bo and Ezra. They were uh, messing with the goldfish and looking at our garden. And uh, I told them, I kissed them and loved on them, told them bye. Ellie's still asleep in her room. I get in my truck and Ezra comes busting out the front door like hysterical, scream crying. And then I, my heart's beating fast. He goes, come here. So I followed, I ran, we ran into the backyard. My heart's beating fast. I'm like, did something happen to Bo? Did she just fall out? Like, wh why is he freaking out like this? And you know what? He just wanted to show me that we have a bell pepper growing in the garden. <laughs> and it, it blew, I, I think maybe he wanted me to know that. And I didn't know that. So he was like, I got to tell dad before he leaves. And he was crying because he wanted to catch me. I don't know. But then he hugged me like 12 times before I left. And it was the cutest, sweetest thing. He ran and jumped in my arms. And he said, I'll see you when you get home. Uh, anyway, it was cute. But it was uh, my heart still pounding because I thought something happened to Bo. Or I really thought a goldfish had died. And I'm like, I don't know how. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't that. Anyway, good news is Ezra loves me. Everybody's okay. And we got a bell pepper growing in the garden you know what i'm saying it's time for a little red light reflection just sitting at a red light but anyway uh hey what kind of standard do you have for yourself right i like to think that i have a higher standard for myself than than other people might hold for me um and i'm not i'm just talking about every area of your life what are your standards like you know, I, this was especially true when, when dating earlier in life, but it's like, where are your standards? What kind of standards do you hold yourself to in, in terms of purity, in terms of what you, uh, what you watch, what you listen to, what you put in your head, uh, in terms of your relationships with friends? Like, you need to have a little bit higher standards when it comes to your friendships, because if not, they'll drag you down anyway just a thought on standards green light gotta go Bye, you can't get let's go get some local roots is that what we're gonna do food truck food truck sure about local roots mom you seem to know about it we don't know jump right okay. down your phone it's just farm and table type food the yard bird is my favorite it's smoked chicken pimento cheese barbecue sauce with I like toast, chicken and they have their own house I like pickles I think I'm gonna go, go car three. Get the burger. Oh, no salad. Burger? I uh, like burgers. I ain't getting a burger without no bun. Not from uh, here. See, I like burgers. I will. I'll do it. I did that at home when I cooked. Yeah, but, but I ain't going to a restaurant. Quit saying that. What's he saying? Carol Baskin. Uh, we don't even. We didn't even watch that. Uh -huh. But he's heard other people say it. Well, and Beth and them were saying it all week at the beach, and then these kids were trying to do a TikTok by our house, uh, and it was that Carol Baskin. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go hit up some some local roots. Yeah. Ready? I changed my mind. Got got the burger without the bun. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. I bet it's gonna be. I got a burger with a bun. You got a burger with a bun. <laughs> I like that. What'd you get? Yard burger. Yard burger. What is that? Chicken sandwich? It's not chicken. I thought it mother. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ellie says I want a French fry. Ellie's, Ellie's gonna eat a French fry. Are you gonna eat a French fry? See, no, mommy gonna pull the potato out of the middle and put it. You gonna eat your little French fry? Hey everybody, Russ Warren here. So the question that might be swarming around in your head might be, did Russ fall off of his horse? Did Russ fall off of his rocker? Did Russ fall and bump his head? And the answer to all those questions is no. I did not fall off my horse, I did not fall off my rocker, and I did not fall and bump my head. As a matter of fact, I'm more alive, alert, happy, full of energy and joy than I've ever been before. But I look around the world and there's a lot of people that are 
fearful right now, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of doubt, a lot of insecurity, a lot, uh, just the, the big thing is fear. And so I decided a little while back that I wanted to start being a blessing. I want to start giving away stuff. And so uh, if you've been following me on social media, if you haven't, you should, but I've been doing some regular giveaways, giving away cash uh, for people that like my stuff, comment on my stuff, subscribe to my YouTube channel, whatever it might be. There's different uh, standards that I put out there from time to time to tell people how you can win prizes. But I decided I want to up the game. Instead of giving $5 here or $7 here, but that, that does add up, by the way, um, I wanted to do something epic, and so I decided that I would give away 